In this video, I'll show you how to add Rio to your column elements. Now, it's the same concept as what I showed you for the beam, uh, but maybe it's just a tiny bit trickier. So again, just like in the beam, we have to create a section and to do that, go back to your floor plan, select level one, and this is where I want to add, this is the column that I want to add reinforcement to, so click on section. Now always draw the section in the in the span which is biggest and you see that in this case it's in that way, so let's draw that section. So let's drag it so that it's in the middle. And now we can double click on a section. Let's just uh, increase that height. And say I want it to, to hide the beam, so right click and then hide these elements. Okay, so now we, we select the column, click on rebar. And again, the first step is we want to add the stirrups. So um, if you're having issues with adding the stirrups, make sure the placement, current work plane, and then for that placement, perpendicular to cover. So this is how we should look like, is, you know, um, we're gonna be looking at it from, from this point, sort of, on the floor plan. So it has to be positioned in that horizontal plane as you can see now so again this is n28 is too big so let's go with n12 um, and then just place it now I want the stirrups to be added throughout the whole um, throughout the whole column so what I can do is I can select that and I can go layout maximum spacing and would, it would automatically place all of these um, along the length, the entire height, sorry, of the, of the column. So that's my first step. Now, if I go back to my level one, I can see these um, stirrups right here. Um, what I also want to do is I want to add uh, reinforcement bars. So again, go back to my section. And then for that section, um, you can turn on the thin lines if it's easier for you to view. Um, again, select the column and then click on rebar and choose your this simple shape. And let's increase that to say N20. And we can add now as you see this is gonna place the rebar going into the page we don't want that we want it to be sort of longitudinal like that so we change that and let's just place that so again we can select this and we can say fixed number so maybe four, it's going to place um, four. We can't see that actually over here. So let me just leave it one for now. Um, so what we want is again, go back. And add that shape, so maybe place one here and place another one here place one at the end place one at this end so if we have a look at it um, if we go back to our level one so we can see that I'll drag this out a bit. We 
you can see that this is the um, this is basically the layout that I have now what I can do is I can you know select on one of these and maybe have a fixed number so as you see the fixed number over here was um, was three I can change that to two I can do the same for all of these so again if I select all of them and I go to rear bar set and maximum spacing as you see I've inserted uh, my reinforcement both my rear bars and my, uh, my stirrups into the column.